Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see how to set up and enable GitHub Copilot in R Studio. Before we begin, let us have a quick look on what is GitHub Copilot. It is an AI powered code assistant that can be integrated into an IDE such as VS Code, R Studio, and others. It gives code suggestion in real time based on given context, prompt, and current code or indexed project files. We'll see what is context and prompt with an example later. Copilot was one of the most wanted feature requested by our users. And Posit announced the integration of GitHub Copilot in Posit 2023 conference. It can be enabled in the R Studio with version 2023.09 and above. So if you are using an older version of R Studio, make sure to update before you begin the setup. And you can check that by going to help about R Studio. This is the version I am using at the time of recording this video. I will be following this POSIT guide for Copilot as reference, which details the prerequisites, steps to set up, and a little bit about how to use the Copilot. Now, as you can see here, GitHub Copilot subscription is not free. To try and hands on, an option could be to get a 30 days free trial subscription or apply to GitHub Global Campus as a student in case you are enrolled in a degree or diploma from a recognized educational institution. More details are given on this page. I actually have a student subscription. However, in this video, we'll set up using trial subscription. With that, let's move on to GitHub and sign into your account. On the extreme right, click on this last icon, scroll down and look for Copilot. Click on it. On this trial sign up page, uh, it shows how much you would be charged monthly or yearly after the trial period. Click on get access to GitHub Copilot. Fill the required billing details and save. Next, fill the payment details and click save. Finally, confirm all the details and submit. You will not be charged until the trial period is expired. Also, you can cancel the subscription any point in time. Select preferences, click on save and get started. GitHub, Co GitHub Copilot is now ready to be paired in our studio. Don't worry, our studio is not listed here, but we will still be able to set it up. In, in the R studio, navigate through tools menu, global options, locate Copilot towards the bottom sidebar, on the right hand, you see GitHub Copilot Preview. Click on the checkbox here. You will be prompted to install Agent. Click on Install. Okay. As a next step, sign in to connect or pair with GitHub Copilot plugin. Copy this verification code. Paste the code paste the code previously copied and complete the authentication process. Our studio is now all set and integrated with Copilot. Now let's try giving some context in comments. Say I want to create a plot using ggplot and empty cards dataset. You will notice that Copilot is already in action with suggestions here. But that is not what I want. 
down here you can see copilot status messages such as completion received uh, response received no completions available or waiting for completions copilot suggestions are differentiated in italics fonts and gray color to accept the suggestion you can press tab or to ignore press enter let's get to plotting you see that copilot is suggesting the remainder of ggplot scatterplot for weight versus mpg based on the context understanding and the prompt provided in the comments looks okay to me let me accept that by pressing tab how about x and y labels pretty nice you now have a code assistant to help you and become more productive but be careful Suggestions from Copilot may not always be correct. You will need to review, accept, or reject, or edit the code suggestions based on your need. Let us try something different and give a context that we want to perform exploratory data analysis on air quality data set and want some visualizations as well. Copilot already started giving code suggestions. Let us see what all suggestions we get. I will accept them just for the sake of testing and getting a hang of it. Okay. Let me check on columns having missing values. Okay, matching with summary stats. How about missing and duplicate values? Okay, let's try some plots. It gave code suggestion for histogram and box plot using BASA. But I want the plots using ggplot. So let me specify and retry. Okay, I got an error probably because the library is not loaded. Let's see what Copilot can tell about this error. Let me ask this question. It returns with an answer to install the package. Pretty close. But I already have ggplot2 package installed. Just that I, I did not load the package. One more try. This time I would like to create a simple R shiny app with Copilot. And here is my context. Create shiny app with empty cars dataset. Main panel with some plots and displaying dataset. Few controls in the sidebar. Okay, uh, Copilot started suggesting load libraries. Okay, suggested the code for UI. server code nice let me save this and run the app not bad this certainly needs fine-tuning nevertheless you need not to type the code from scratch copilot helped with some skeletal code that you can build upon these were few sample toy examples now it's your turn to explore Share your experiences with Copilot in comment section. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.